I do that every morning. <laughs> so there's a company called Falcon Eyes, and they sent me this light. It's the little F7. Okay, Parks and Rec is too loud. This is the F7 Pock Elite or Pocket Light. It's not turning on. What the heck? Oh, uh, there you go. Oh my. They sent me this light to review for my channel, but honestly, right now, it's just kind of weird just making product videos. So we're gonna get to this light a little later. I can tell you that I unboxed it the other day and it's really impressive for a pocket light. Oh, oh. This is the case that it comes with. Wow, holy crap, dude. This is 100% brightness. Oh my gosh, dude. That is remarkable. That is unreal bright. This can be used on anything from a professional set to your very first makeup tutorial or your first vlog, whatever. We're gonna get into the light later. I'm gonna show you some creative uses, but today we're gonna vlog. We're gonna go get some fresh air. Also my sound panel uh, insulation came in today from Acoustamac. So that's probably gonna be my next video is just making my sound panel. So I'm kind of stinky and gross, so I need to shower, get ready for the day, and clean up my apartment a little bit. And I only have one battery for the X-T3 right now, so I'm gonna charge it and get cute. Here we go. Did it work? Do I look cool? Of course I do. <laughs> So this morning on Nashville News Channel 5's website, 8.49 a.m., it was posted that our mayor here in Nashville issued a safer at home order. So I wanted to come downtown Nashville and just see if people are out and about, see if people are listening and being smart. I know that I'm down here as well, but I'm definitely keeping my distance from people. We're gonna walk down to Broadway Street, which is the most popular tourism in all of Tennessee, I'm sure, and the street that is single-handedly responsible for labeling Nashville as Nash Vegas. You gotta clean the lens. You can tip if you want to. Oh, I will. Amen. I see trees of green, red roses too, thank you Jesus. I see the bloom, Lord have mercy, for me and you. And I think to myself, yeah daddy, what a wonderful world. You know what it really is? I actually expected it to be a lot busier down here, a lot crazier. It's pretty calm, pretty chill. Proud of you, Nashville. Thank you for being responsible. I'm the one down here. Usually I'm making videos about cameras and I try to include the camera in the title to try to grow my channel and everything. And this video probably won't even get that many views, but I really don't care. It's really bright right here. Now, the reason I'm down here is not to say, screw you, Coronies, I'm tough. Not at all. This thing is very serious, and I'm trying to take it very seriously. I think a lot of us are, and it's really cool to see. As video creators, filmmakers, content creators, influencers, we have this really unique opportunity to share a single human perspective, our story, which is so unlike the media where even when the media tries to share a story, it's either super cringy or it's just fear-based most of the time. There's obviously, that's what I just love about this space of creativity is sharing our perspective. So this video is not a typical video. This is not a technical review of a small light. Yeah, I'm gonna use the light in a little bit, but I wanted to share my perspective, my city, what's happening. I hope you're all okay, honestly. Since we're on this whole truth and honesty kick, I do wanna share my perspective with you guys about this little light. It's actually a very impressive light, as you can see from my reaction. What up, dude? <laughs> they don't know me, they just saw my, 
camera in public. So usually in my talking videos, I have the Aperture 120D Mark II lighting me. That's this big fluffy nugget right here. He's a good old boy. Right now, I have the pocket light, the Falcon Eyes F7 keeping me lit. I'm looking at it on the monitor right now, looks nice. It's only at 20% brightness. 5600 Kelvin to get daylight. I really feel like it can fit in the professional film industry or the very first YouTube video from a small creator. If you've ever worked on a set with a airy sky panel, which is the big daddy, super expensive LED panel, you know how much control you get. And I swear to you, I'm not just trying to overhype this light because I got it for free. This little light has very similar controls to an airy sky panel. I'm out of breath. I need to run. I'm gonna start doing some tests with this little light. Let me grab it. Oh, this is the light of my life, not the, not the LED. <laughs> All right, so I have the little light set up on this switch pod. I'm gonna show you guys some of the effects scenes that you can set up. Party. I'm gonna sip on my coffee and I'm gonna show you guys the TV setting. So like somebody sitting in a living room at night, eating a snack, sipping coffee, whatever you're doing. So there's actually not gonna be a TV on. It's just gonna be the light and the effect. While well, there's still no word on the cure <laughs> But really quick, I want to show you the back of the light. This is the RGB setting. Use the power button again to change to the scenes, which is the effects. This is the TV effect we were just doing. And you can hit the power button again to cycle to just the regular color temperature setting and just go down by increments of 50. You can control the brightness to the individual percent and then click one more time on the power button to get to your RGB setting. So here's what I was talking about with the sky panel light controls. Click on your dial and you can change the specific hue degree and you click it again to go down to saturation <laughs> cut the footage this light is also magnetic which is super cool so you could put this anywhere basically on a set and you could use it as like a light when somebody opens up a fridge or just anywhere where you can't put a giant fixture and then if you're a up and coming youtuber or a beginner or whatever this light works perfectly for you too because it's affordable and it's really tiny it's got good battery life tons of different effects built really well it functions how it's supposed to the user interface is really simple and functional so i would highly recommend picking one of these up if you need your first light or a, just a little light to use as accent on set like i have this little accent in the back right here and i i couldn't i should have just not spent money on it i i should have just used this well guys i think i heard some cops coming i don't know where they could be just in case, I better get out of here. Make sure you like and subscribe. You know what, on second thought, it's actually a lightning storm. I thought there were some cops coming, but it's getting pretty bad out, so you better become a patron or something, just in case my house gets blown away. And it's actually an apartment, so I lied about that. But love you, bye. <laughs> Tried to time it up with the lightning, didn't work. <laughs>